Good morning, Wildcats. Today is September 26th, Lumberjack Day. I'm Alexis. And I'm Brooke. Stay tuned for news about trade wars, Russian support for Syria, and a segment on news to cure the blues. All this and more on this week's World News Wednesday. Today, the trade war between the U.S. and China increased dramatically as the two countries placed their largest tariffs yet. The Trump administration imposed new 10% tariffs on $200 billion of Chinese goods, and in retaliation, China placed new taxes of 5 to 10% on 60 billion U.S. goods, such as auto parts, chemicals, and more. The U.S. government's tariffs on China now apply to over 250 billion Chinese goods. These tariffs are intended to punish China for the accusations of unfair trade practices. U.S. tariffs are set to increase from 10% to 25% by the end of the year. And this week, Russia has commented that she would supply Syrian military with a sophisticated air defense system, which increases chances of an air war with Israel. Russia's defense minister has said that the decision to send S-300 missiles to Syria was due to Israel's lack of care for the safety of Russian military personnel. Most of the current tension between the two countries was due to a Russian military plane being shot down by Israelis and 15 Russians being killed. On Tuesday, Bill Cosby was sentenced to 3 to 10 years in a state prison for sexual assault. He was convicted of three counts of aggravated indecent assault for the drugging and assaulting of Andrea Constand. The judge believed that the ruling was overwhelmingly supported by the evidence shown in the court, and this case was one of the first of the Me Too movement. An Indonesian teen was rescued after drifting off at sea for 49 days on a floating fish trap. The 19-year-old has been working as a lamp keeper on a remote fishing trap when in mid-July the strong waves caused the anchor rope to eventually break. A Japanese boat ended up rescuing him where they took him back to Japan to ensure everything was okay before he can go back to Indonesia. Now stay tuned for the weekly segment, New Secure the Blues. Old Miss punter Mac Brown had a pretty sweet idea that took off in a big way. He decided to open up a lemonade stand to raise money for a friend's father who had been diagnosed with ALS with the goal of reaching $500. Well, that goal has been there and then some. Since Brown was in seventh grade, the lemonade stand has raised almost $50,000 and continues to benefit research today. Brown says that originally it was just me and my buddies doing a lemonade stand, but now it's a community that's coming together from all over Minnesota and are coming to the stand. Stay tuned next week for more uplifting stories like this. Back to you. Thanks, Ella Grace. Now to school news. If building relationships, making a difference in the community, and reaching out to those in need are things you'd love to be involved in, we hope to see you at the Project 7 Club meeting today in room 383 at 1.35 p.m. See you there. Hey, Wildcats. Medical Club is meeting tomorrow after school at 2.30 p.m. in room 389. In this meeting, we'll talk about different medical professionals. So stop by to give us an input about what you want to see this year. Yesterday, our girls' varsity golf team beat Oviedo High School 171 to 245, and our girls' varsity volleyball team beat Boone High School 3 to 1. Congratulations to both teams. Well, that's all our news for today. Thanks for tuning in. Updating you on the world every week, this has been your World News Wednesday. This just in. Today, in room 852, there will be a meeting of the Young Republicans Club. We have a special guest speaker, candidate for U.S. Congress, Mike Miller.